Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. We're presented by the Navy Federal Credit Union. Time to shine the light on Navy wrestling. Mids in the midst of a 13-day break as they prep for one of their biggest matches of the year. As they take on the Black Knights of Army. Pleased to be joined by 141-pounder Josh Coderhot. And Josh, is, is, it, is it hard to believe we're two and a half years and 71 wins into this thing uh, so far for you here uh, at the Naval Academy right now? Yeah, it's it's flown by. I remember just like it seems like it was yesterday. I was going through plebe summer and you know starting off my my wrestling my college career. It's been it's been crazy, but it's been a great ride so far. I would say so. Seventy one wins. Anything about what's happened during these two and a half years surprise you at all? Just from a wrestling standpoint. Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I kind of have always expected a lot of myself. You know, I always expect to win. Um, so I wouldn't say I've, I've been surprised about anything. You know, I kind of, kind of knew I'd be in the position that I'm in right now whenever I was starting out. And honestly, I thought that way my, my whole life. So yeah, not, nothing too surprising. Um, Yeah. <laughs> You obviously had the chance to be coached by a tremendous coaching staff uh, so far. How much have you changed as a wrestler just with some of their guidance here uh, over your career? Yeah, definitely. I've, I've changed a lot. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, not, not using my, my strength as much, uh, having it there. It obviously helps, but that was just like my freshman year. I, I was a really big 133 pounder, so I could just kind of out muscle everybody, but you know, that doesn't always work. So now I have a bunch of different tools in my bag that I can use, not not just the strength part, but I mean, even just from last season, I've I've changed as a wrestler and you know, as a person to a, a tremendous amount. Is that one of the biggest adjustments? Because when you're you're wrestling in high school and, and, you know, before you get to college, in a way, it's somewhat of a smaller pool of guys. At the Division One level, you're, you're wrestling dudes almost sing, every single time uh, out there. Is that the greatest challenge is just the depth of talent you have wrestled against uh, is so much better? Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a lot different than high school. You know, most most of the matches that you wrestle throughout the high school season, I'm and they're tech and everybody and you know now in college you know every, everybody's good so there's gonna be like weeks like sometimes i'll go weeks without getting a, a pen or a tech you know it might be might have back-to-back overtime matches you just never know yeah every, everybody has the ability to win in college wrestling 13 days between matches here obviously you're doing a lot of work i know in the room but uh, a good thing or a bad thing is you get prepped uh, for Army coming up this week? Um, I, you know, I think it's a good, it can be a good thing and a bad thing. Um, for me personally, I think it's a good thing. Uh, getting a, a few days off, letting my body recover and feel good. Um, you know, getting, staying on my diet, bringing my weight down a little more and keeping it where it needs to be. Um then the bad thing for some people, you know, not having to make weight the net the following weekend, uh, they they might let their weight get get a little big, and then the that just makes the the next the next weigh in a little bit tougher. But it's definitely been a been a good thing. You know, I'm feeling really good right now. I think it's the same way for all the other guys on the team. We're all feeling really good right now and ready to go this weekend. I know it's one of the the tougher things about this sport i mean I, I come from an era where when you had to cut weight for football to make weight and wrestling you you, you, you ran with a trash bag on trying to yeah. to, to cut weight but uh, as a division one wrestler who's got so much expectation you know it's not just the matches you're expected to perform in practice your room is so deep now that if you don't perform in practice somebody else is wrestling uh you know under the under the lights what are the challenges for you right now especially the lighter guys to maintaining uh, that weight, getting a proper diet, and obviously still being, you know, at your best for, from a physical standpoint um, when, when you're ready to wrestle in the match. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think that that's been like my biggest thing this year is I'm, 
my my weight has been really really good all year so i'm not really even cutting that much weight this year um you know it's like i i start watching kind of watching what goes in in my body like a day or two before um but i like you know it comes down to i like i meal prep every weekend uh so i'm just just eating the right things throughout the week uh drinking a lot of water you know not trying to avoid the the sweets and stuff that that can be the hard thing for me but just just avoiding all the bad stuff and you know if it's not if it's not fueling you and helping you win then you probably shouldn't be eating it but yeah that's been my biggest thing I think that's helped me this year to you know be be at almost 100 percent week to week is is the diet part and not having to, to cut much weight this year what does your diet consist of right now a lot of a lot of fish a lot of veggies uh steak here and there chicken you know just just healthy healthy stuff uh i try to try to keep it you know not coming out of a bag or, or something like that <laughs> i was gonna say look i mean i i've been with so many of the athletic teams through the years i mean there's only so much grilled chicken you can need and, yeah and, and things of that nature but does it become second nature during wrestling season for you uh, I mean, you know, I mean, as you said, you 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 plan your meals and, and everything like that. Um, is that half the battle, though, having that plan, sticking to that plan? Yeah, it can definitely uh, be tough, you know, like coming back on a like sun, Sunday afternoon, getting back late. Uh, it can be a little tough. So I will have to like make my meals two weeks out uh, and freeze some of them. So, yeah, it can it can be a little hard. But, you know, whenever. When you have big goals, you know, you got you find a way, find a way to do it. Obviously, now part of your goals is to become a three time NCAA qualifier here. But as you go through this week, you know, you get to wear the sweater. Everybody's going to be patting you on the back saying, hey, you know, beat Army. What is this week like preparing um, for one of the great rivalries in all of sports? Yeah, it's uh you try to try to keep the hype out of it a little bit, at least for me. Um, but it, it's, it's hard. It's, it's really exciting. You know, you get to go, you get to beat army. That's like the most important thing to this, to our like a- athletics department. Um, but yeah, I try and, you know, stay, keep, keep doing what I've been doing every week, getting ready for Friday. Um, but it, it is, it is very exciting. You know, we are just talking like before practice today, Coach Colat putting it in our minds that, you know, this is, it is really important. Uh, you know, this is like, this is the last thing before the postseason too. So it's getting ready for that. And then obviously you want to, you want to win this and head into the post postseason on the right foot. I was going to say, you, you probably had at some point seen an army Navy game and you kind of saw what the rivalry was like from the outside. Uh, what's it been like from the inside? E- everything and maybe a little bit more. Yeah, definitely a little bit more. I've, you know, in high in high school, I never really had like a big rivalry. My my high school wasn't that great at wrestling, but yeah, everyone always talked like talked about you know beat beating army. I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, it's just another another match. But it's that's not the case at all. La- last year we were up at army for this and no, not, not as exciting. It was like a Sunday afternoon. There, there were people there, but not, not a ton, but then I, I, like, I still remember my, my plebe year. It's just the alumni is packed. I was going to say to come into this, they talk to you, they tell you about how great tradition, legacy, the alumni, the support uh, of all these men that have come uh, before you, um, have you have you seen that delivery? Because uh, I've called a number of matches now with you all against Army in the past, and I, I think the most remarkable thing is how many people do come back. And yeah. this is this is important to all of them as it is to you. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's like a lot of the there's a lot of grads that I like talk to that I've you know I've never met before, but it's like we've we've been through the same thing. So just from that, it's like it's like I've met them before, you know? Um, yeah, they, it's, it's super important. It might be more important to them. I think it's, 
I, I can't I can't wait till I graduate and I'm coming back and watching the Army Navy match and rooting for for Navy to beat the crap out of Army. <laughs> is there a I don't want to say I, looking for the right word is you know maybe responsibility to 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 do your job uh, on Friday to make sure that while you're out there your your result helps lift the rest of, of your team is that really what it comes down to each individual guy doing their job and trying to give that next guy that lift uh, that they can take out onto the mat with them yeah absolutely uh you know it's about dual dual meets are all about momentum you know even if even if you don't win win your match you know getting that last takedown and letting your your t- team and the bench know that you're still here and you're still fighting that's that's a huge thing but yeah like nobody nobody wants to lose nobody wants to be the guy that that lost the duel for their team so especially at the army match you know you got a, a bunch of fans watching you you don't want to let you don't want to let anybody down so you do do everything that you can to make sure that that you don't that you get the win has wrestling always been the the vehicle for you and obviously something that you parlayed into uh, a, a great education and obviously being able to wrestle at the highest level. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it, you know, I, not that I'm, you know, not smart, but if I, if I wasn't wrestling, there's no way I would have gotten into the Naval Academy. Uh, so yeah, wrestling, you know, I feel, I feel like I, I owe it to wrestling kind of to, to give it my 100% every, every week, uh, just cause it's done so much for me. Great stuff, Big Phil. Appreciate the time this morning. Best of luck on Friday against the Black Knights. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.